My name is Samit Malik, and I'm the co-founder and executive director of the South Asian American Digital Archive. Archives are incredibly powerful spaces. People who haven't visited archives perhaps don't think about them in their day-to-day -day lives, but archives are really the places where stories and histories get made. They're the sources that historians use to tell us about the past, and for the work that we do in SADA, it's also how we create a more inclusive and just future. South Asian American histories haven't been reflected in mainstream institutions, and we felt like our community stories weren't being told. And not only were they not being told, but that they were in danger of being lost entirely. Digital archives are powerful because they provide access to anyone anywhere in the world to materials that were previously inaccessible to them. So many of the materials that we have in SADA are sitting in a physical archives, or perhaps are sitting in someone's basement or their attic in their home. And through the work of the digital archive, through the work of SADA, People anywhere in the world can access those materials for the very first time. Our intention is to really focus on stories from our community that people don't know because they're either historically so distant or because they're marginalized today. And so a large part of our work is really to break beyond the most common stories of what it means to be South Asian American and share stories that people may not expect. One of those projects that we have is called the Road Trips Project where we collect and share stories from South Asian Americans traveling across the country. The myth of the open road is really the idea that you can get in your car and travel across the country or get on a train or get on a plane without fear of intimidation, or harassment, or violence, something that is not the case for many people of color and immigrants of color today. By sharing hundreds of stories and photographs of South Asian Americans traveling across the country, shows the sense of empowerment, of fearlessness that immigrants have to have to make this country their own. The day I arrived in USA, it was September 13, 1970. The First Days Project is one where we share uh, stories from immigrants and refugees about their very first experiences in the United States. People remember what they smelled, um, what they tasted, how it felt. It was really, it's really incredible to Think about how vividly that day sticks out in a person's memory. I saw stairs moving up and down. People are standing on them. I came to know it called escalator. I arrived at California airport, and when I got out of the airport, only things I saw was cars. Cars and cars and cars. And I was just says, wow. The thing that really saved my life in terms of this migration is books. It, the fact that I could go into a library and it was such an incredible feeling of liberation. I mean, it was like church, like, oh my God, I can take any book out that I want. And that's really what was my salvation. When you think about Philadelphia and its history, what's a word that comes to mind? The word I a large part of our work as Sada is really thinking about how we creatively connect those stories and materials and histories with people and make them part of people's everyday lives. One example is a walking tour of Philadelphia called Revolution Remix that starts at the Liberty Bell and shares stories of South Asian Americans in those spaces from the 1780s up to the present day. That marker commemorates the historic and first national march on Washington for lesbian and gay rights. It also links us to an important story about the South Asian American lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and asexual communities, and their ongoing exclusion in South Asian American communities. The work that I do with SADA every day completely, to me, opens my mind to the possibilities of what it means to be South Asian American, what it means to be American, what it means to be human. I get to, every day, learn something new about the past. I get to think about things that I perhaps never expected. And so these stories all shape me and make me a different person.